G'day, I'm Warwick Schiller and uh, recently on a uh, horse forum on Facebook I saw someone asking the question, you know, that they had a new horse and they want to know how best to bond with it, how to make friends with it, all that sort of stuff and, and you know, it had been abused and it was spooky and it was nervous, it was unsettled and all that sort of stuff. And a lot of people that came on there replied, oh, well, you need to, you know, feed it carrots or hang out with it or love on it and all that sort of stuff. Um, I personally would have to disagree with that, the way I do things. And the way I do things is pretty much the way horses do things. You know, horses aren't looking for a friend or a lover. Horses are looking for a leader. You turn two horses in together that don't know each other, they don't just mutually groom each other on the withers and live happily ever after. There's a bit of conflict, they try to figure out who's in charge, you know, try to find some consistency in the leadership, all that sort of stuff. And once they figure that out, then they're quite settled and comfortable with each other and then they make friends and do all that mutual grooming. You know, this, uh, this mare right here is a three-year-old Morgan mare that came in about a week ago. And she was just like that lady's horse. You know, she'd been abused. She, um, she would run over the owner or she'd run off from the owner, one or the other. Um, you know, she was nervous, she was spooky, she was all of those things. And I haven't, you know, treated her special, I haven't done anything different. I've just actually finished the fourth session in the round pen here teaching her to hook on me, which is the first thing I do with every horse, okay? I haven't tried to love on her or any of that sort of stuff, you know. And if you have a look at... Now she's a Morgan. Now when she came here, her head stuck straight up in the air and her eyes bulged straight out. Okay? And if you look now, I think this is this here is the lovey-dovey stuff that everybody wants to be able to do with their horse. They want to hang out with them and have this sort of relationship. If you want to have this sort of relationship with your horse, it doesn't start here. It starts with someone becoming the leader. And the trouble with all that nicey nicey letting your horse push all over you and stuff is you're not telling them you're the leader. You're telling them they're the leader. And a lot of times these horses are spooky and worried and that sort of thing because they don't have a leader, you know, they're on their own in the world. Whereas if you can have a look at this mare right here, like I said, I haven't tried to make wonderful friends with her and love on her and stuff. I've tried to earn her trust and her respect. And now this, I think, you know, after one week, this is the sort of relationship I think most people are trying to have with their horses. And so from my point of view, you don't, you don't, it doesn't start here. It starts with, you know, becoming a firm leader and I start getting them to hook onto me. And, uh, you know, the first day all she was run around and look over the fence and whinny at other horses and spook at things and all that sort of stuff. But if you have a look at her right now, she seems like she's pretty content to hang out here with me. And you might notice she's not trying to knock me over, you know. She's totally relaxed, that sort of thing. So anyway, that's my take on that. Um, you know, do with it what you will, but I'm not a real big believer in the whole lovey-dovey horsey stuff, just because horses don't do that with each other. So anyway, hope that helps you guys. See you guys next time.